If the best you can do is simply beg the question, or try and suggest that someone is being dishonest because they don't accept your point of view, or that you've got special evidence and yet you cannot provide the evidence in full clarity, and even if you provide links, those links lead towards people who don't provide the full information, that won't do. You need more than hearsay. You need more than quack science. You need something to be testable, not merely illegible. And yes, linking to one test that may or may have not have been conducted fairly is not evidence. There's no oversight, no independent observers to actually check a test was done properly. And if you say, oh, the test must have been done correctly, um, I want evidence of that. Otherwise, that's not very clear at all. So it might seem like evidence to you to say that something is indeed scientific, that it is indeed factually correct, that you have the evidence, that you know it's been confirmed, even if your sources are biased, even if they don't actually publish the full information, even if it's almost certain that they've used deception and methods to try and support their premise. And if that so-called evidence for a paranormal claim happens to come from an individual who's criticised sceptics and said that their controls are too strong, then surely, logically, the controls in place that that person used to try and confirm a paranormal occurrence would also have a lack of controls. If they're questioning the controls in place when it comes down to scientists and sceptics in general, then of course their own methods are going to be more lax because they consider that to be acceptable in order to actually gather evidence of phenomena. So in other words, it would be foolish for you to say that someone is providing evidence of the paranormal when a strong part of their public face is to actually say that the controls in place in other tests are in fact too strong and to actually get genuine evidence of the afterlife, of mediums and other phenomena that you must have more lax, more open controls. So let's make this clear. We're not talking about proof. We're not talking about something which is certainly objectively proven. We're not talking about science and we're not talking about a serious test. But their own premise, when it comes down to tests in general, is that you need to have certain limits on the controls in order to provide the necessary room for so-called phenomena. Does he look like a bitch?